Keffels. Keffels has had a fun week. Oh, <laughs> this was the other good thing. I guess good thing that happened. There. I say that in air quotes. Uh, bad thing that happened to bad people. Keffels uh, recently announced that he intended to leave all the drama sphere behind and um, uh, become an, a heckin' wholesome, innocent, uh, um, spooky content creator. And we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. However, it's worth mentioning that this, as soon as Keffels announced this, the drama came to him. A person named Rinna uh, wrote this post and explained in detail how they were wronged and intend to kill themselves. Uh, they had uh, had financial issues. They intended to set up a GoFundMe for their rent and for oral surgery. They had some kind of dental issue that left them in excruciating pain. And they intended to crowdfund some medical expenses, as Americans do. Sounds like a little bit e-baggy, but let's be real. I think that GoFundMe is the American healthcare system at this point. We just sort of uh, pay to keep people that we like alive. And we're just, people are okay with that system. It's, it's better than socialized healthcare because then people we don't like get medical medical attention. Whereas at least with GoFundMe, it's kind of like a democratic approach to who gets to live or die. So people seem more okay with that than like the German system where you keep all these, these fucking deadbeats from dying. So um, they set up their GoFundMe. And they pass it around and are told that people are not donating to it because in private, a few transgenders had decided to disparage them and call their GoFundMe a scam. Naming specifically. Um, ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Okay, it says... Because of overconfidence, I knew that people were shit-talking my GoFundMe. I reached direct confirmation that Brianna Wu's chat consisting of Keffels, Euphori Tori, Claire Penis, and others were telling people that I was grifting people. That my GoFundMe only reached 10% of its goal. Um, and if it weren't for AOFB giving me the minimum I needed to not get evicted, I would have been dead earlier. So this is a suicide note. This person is declaring that they are going to kill themselves. And specifically name drops, among others, Brianna Wu and Keffels as directly and intentionally disrupting their crowdfunding efforts to stop to, to get dental surgery. Um, and cites that as the modus operandi for killing themselves. Now, isn't that fascinating, chat? Nobody has ever killed themselves because of the Kiwi Farms. But yet, this person attempted suicide because of Keffels and Brianna Wu. And this is not, by the way, this is not the first person who has blamed Brianna Wu uh, for their suicide. Uh, Chloe Segal, who did kill themselves successfully by setting themselves on fire in public with gasoline, like a fucking Tibetan monk, uh, also directly attributed uh, Brianna Wu icing them out. Basically, like, the way that it works is, like, in the transgender sphere, you have to be in good graces with Brianna Wu and Keffels, I guess, to get money. <laughs> for your GoFundMe causes. So Brianna Wu iced uh, uh, Chloe Segal out, and Chloe Segal was le literally homeless, was literally evicted um, from their, their bed set, uh, and was literally on the fucking street, and spent the last of the money that they had to buy gasoline to set themselves on fire because Brianna Wu shit-talked them and called their GoFundMe a scam. Uh, in case you don't remember... <laughs> I did a whole stream on Chloe Segal. By the way, the fact that I played at the end of that stream, um, uh, I can't remember his name. There's a British song, and it's just called Fire. It's fire to destroy all you've learned. Fire. I played that song because I thought it would be apropos. Apparently, this means that I am celebrating the death of somebody and not just playing a catchy song. Arthur Brown, that's correct. Um. As opposed to the person who was literally named as the, the reason why they committed suicide. Just saying. Uh, anyways. So how do, how do, okay, you've been accused of murder by someone who has killed themselves. How do you respond, chat? Well, if you are Brianna Wu and Keffels, 
people who have a lifetime of public relations uh, experience. You handle it in the most vicious, cold, chilling, effective way possible. I will read these responses. Keffel says, People have been tagging me in this, asking me clarification on why I was mentioned in this. I want to make it known that I have never called her a grifter or tried to sabotage her GoFundMe. I was also never in a group chat consisting of Brianna Wu, Tori, and Claire Penis. I honestly believe she was given bad information. I've always considered her a friend, albeit one I was distant with. We talked a lot about gaming and our experiences live streaming as trans women. We haven't talked since July 2023. I really hope she is okay. I've always seen her as a good person that dealt that life dealt a bad hand to. And Brianna Wu says, uh, in the same voice, because I think that Brianna Wu wrote both of these tweets. This was a reply to Keffel, so this one's buried. I have literally never, no idea who this is or why I'm mentioned. It's possible someone in some group chat I'm mentioned in mentioned her at some point, but I have no idea. I hope she's safe and wish her the best. Now, if only there's some way to back this up. We need a third party to really solidify that these claims are accurate and that Brianna Wu and Keffel's didn't do nothing. Thankfully, one of the most soy-faced, bitch-titted, footstool gimps to ever walk the earth, one of the most pathetic, soulless, spineless, craven, hollow, empty, lifeless marionettes of a man ever birthed from mud and muck on this fucking planet was there, ready to say whatever it was that Brianna Wu asked of him. Brandon Lewis says, Tipster, we spent about a year in a group chat together. In that time, have you ever seen me suggesting harass someone, withhold aid, sabotage their efforts, starting whisper campaigns, or doing anything of the sort? No, madam. No, master. Master, I've never seen you done do nothing wrong, master. Your beauty and your grace are only matched by your intelligence and your mercy. I knew if this person had asked anything from you, master, you would have given her anything in the world, anything that you could have given her, master. I love you. I love you more than the air I breathe, Brianna Wu, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tipster. Cool story, bro. Pathetic. Absolute dude. The, whenever I'm reminded that Tipster exists, it like sends a chill down my spine. Like, oh my god, these fucking people. Like consumer. Do you know how fat he is? Oh, hold up. Let me pull up how fucking fat Tipster is. Because in order for me to adequately explain how disgusting Tipster is, you need a picture of him. If we're being real here. Where is it? Someone replied to me. Someone, someone, I, I was complaining about Tipster. And someone literally sent me a picture of Tipster. And it was just it, uh, was bone chilling. Okay, here. Provolone cheese. Oh, my boy. Cheese boy 324. Dude. Cheese boy 324 three, with the provolone cheese picture uh, sent sent the, the, the deets. It looks like. Fucking Twitter is just not working today. Oh, come on. Maybe if I change my VPN. I desperate. I know I'm looking. Ah, yes. This is the happiest anyone has ever been to see a picture of Tipster. Okay, listen. I want you to imagine this. You see how fat this fucking loser is? You see how, you see how enormous he is? How disgusting and greasy he is? Imagine how many calories a day it takes to keep this man at this weight you're probably talking like 5000 calories on the reg how let's let's just do go to google and type in calories in fried chicken 320 calories per or 240 per 100 grams how much meat is in a chicken like a whole chicken Four to five pounds of meat. So we'll do 4.5 LB to gram. It's 2,000 grams. 2,000 grams. And we time that to put that on. About 20. So 20 grams times 
250 is about 5,000. That's one chicken a day. I just, I literally just did the math. There are four and a half pounds of meat in a chicken. It's 250 calories per 100 grams of fried chicken. You take one chicken and you fry it. You get 5,000 calories. That's how many, that's how many calories Tipster needs to maintain his weight. This fucker is eating a whole ass fried chicken a day, every day to keep that physique. So you think about this. How much, how much resources go into raising a chicken from, from egg to chicken and then frying it? You're talking about vegetable oil. You're talking about uh, wheat for, for flour, for breading and frying it in, and the eggs that you need to, to get it to stick. And you're talking about the amount of grain and corn that you feed the chickens, and then all the petrol that's required to ship these different components to the farm and then to the slaughterhouse and then to the kitchen, the KFC, the fry, and the guy that works at the KFC. You're talking about an astronomical amount of logistics and resources required to get one chicken breaded, fried, and served to tipster every day. You're talking about an inconceivable amount of ec ecological damage to this earth, not even considering the climate or whatever the fuck, no climatologist thing, just like pure actual expenditure of real resources to get this motherfucker fed a chicken a day every day and what does he do with it what does tipster do with his one deep fried chicken a day he goes on twitter he sits there and he simps for a fucking six foot six stink ditch golem to deny murdering trannies on on the internet that is what he does with his chicken a day that is the biggest waste of anything ever in the history of mankind that is a fucking sacrilege and that is a testament against capitalism because in a, a communist society where they have to cut corners to get things to work this fucker would be in a ditch and there would be a thousand more chickens running around every year okay that's what we're looking at here that's fucking just it's just it literally it li not even as a joke not even have to verbally like that is disgusting this man is in every possible way every philosophical way you could possibly analyze him he is disgusting ontologically vile <laughs> uh so the consequence of this was that uh, the person, the friend that Rihanna mentions, or Rena mentions in the uh, original message, flew out to Denver and um, opened their computer, had access to their computer, and found through their credit reports uh, the where they were last at spending money. They had traveled away from Denver and were on a huge pill bender um, in a small town nearby at a, a hotel. And uh, Fancy Pants was able to find this person and secure them. And now they are alive. They are safe, apparently. And uh, Keffels does not have an actual literal murder on their hand. However, while you might be a little bit dismayed for various reasons that we can't make fun of Keffels for being a murderer forever, uh, this may actually be the worst possible outcome. Because based on these responses, there is a bit of a, a tell to what they're hoping for. As I say here... They are basically denying everything, claiming a misunderstanding, washing their hands of it, and then praying to fucking God that this person accusing them of conspiracy to destroy their life and kill them and deprive them of financial support uh, is just going to be too dead to say anything bad about them moving forward. Well, uh, that's not what's happened. And now you have, uh, they're very much alive. And they have the ability now to provide receipts uh, to um, to fuck up their shit even more. In fact, what's really shocking is how both of them immediately moved on from this. Like, oh, someone's accusing me of driving them to suicide. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well. Uh, here's one thing that they showed. Here's Brianna Wu, by the way. I'm, I'm on the thing trying to find it. Brianna Wu was posted like a thousand fucking times. Okay, so. Brianna Wu is like... What? I didn't murder anyone. And then, haha, here is my uh, salmon and potatoes that I made in Brussels sprouts. Haha. And then all of this shit talking about salmon and Trump 
and then cars because he's obsessed with cool cars and shit and little mini figurines. So just immediately, oh, I was accused of, of, of driving someone to suicide. Ha ha, Mrs. Cute misunderstanding. Tiki. And then went to, uh, to just cook salmon and talk about cars for a, a hundred tweets afterwards. And what did... What did Keffels do after being accused of driving someone to suicide? Paris, France. The city of love evokes romantic images of the Eiffel Tower. The Notre Dame. Now is the time to drop my weird monotone video about the catacombs of fucking Paris. You see these catacombs? This will come. This will be the burial site of any tranny who tries to obstruct my grift. Don't get it twisted. You fuck with me, you're gonna be buried down there. They'll think you're that you're some just some historical skeleton that's been there for 500 years. What's re <laughs> what's really really awesome about this video? Um, and how shit it is, is this part, watch. To decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. If you can't tell, uh, Kefels is using extremely low quality footage of ABC Family videos. Because there have been TV specials about the catacombs under Paris for like 30 fucking years at this point. So Kefels is using like 20 year old news footage of the catacombs. From one of those ghost hunter videos where they go, top 10 creepiest place on earth. Number one, the catacombs of Paris. The catacombs have been there for 500 years. Most people don't know about them, even though we've talked about them for 30 fucking years at this point. Like, just, just rip the footage off and play it. And I assume that he picked, like, it's like a significant portion of this video. It's just ABC Family footage. And I assume that he picked this footage because um, it's so old that it might not be in content ID. Uh, and then a lot of it's just like stock footage. So here's here's Keffel's brilliant idea for a channel. Oh my God, look. The safety precaution the miners took were not enough and tunnel collapses, including from the city above, were common. One okay, hold up. Chat, 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 chat. We're gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it real quick, off the cuff. Let's see. This is royalty free, so if we see it here, then we know that he didn't even pay for these. I'm not seeing it on the royalty free site yet. I'm not seeing it. Keffels might have actually paid for the stock footage of Domino's that he used. Let's try Shutterstock. I'm finding the, I'm finding these Domino's. Okay, let's only yeah, refresh my memory. What does this look like? It's like spirals. Sign of the. Okay, this is like three, four spirals. Will I be able to find this exact stock footage of spirals? Hmm. Maybe not. I might be wrecked. Keffel's ability to find stock footage of dominoes falling may not be the most amazingly obvious thing possible. Domino, I'll try maze. No. I'm felted chat. I guess Keffel's made this. As a perfect visual allegory for the catacombs of Paris, Keffels went out and arranged these dominoes in a, this way and filmed it uh, to improve his video with. So, like, all of this is ABC footage. Use without permission. Uh, stock footage. And, street in and just him talking over it. That's his, that's his, uh, that's his vision. You know... You know who else recently decided that they were going to do spooky footage? <laughs> um, a very familiar person. Since we're on the topic. Is she alive right now? She's reacting to 
Sick of Shannon's dog. I ain't got my shots. Yeah, really pause. But anyway. So after, okay, so she just claimed that she was going to do, um, be more private and not react to everything. Now she's like live reacting so bomb. to like re haters <laughs> and, and shit. Okay, cool. I did not know this. I want to show you this though. Um, she's doing spooky video gaming as a video tuber, VTuber. And then where's her new video about booty beauty what's what's the um i thought it was on her main channel but i guess not i can't even find it she makes so many new channels that i'll never be able to find this she did a uh she did a, a live stream horror short about oh wait is this it about um some guy that was like a ra ra child rapist and um he had like in bed it was actually kind of a I, I had heard the story before it's a cool story the guy to avoid dna profile he was like a doctor and he knew that they would take his dna if they found like if they suspected him of the rapes and shit so he had literally surgically embedded into his own arm a plastic tube that was filled with the blood of one of his random patients and so when they went to take DNA from him, he would show them their arm, his arm, and they would uh, find the big vein that was actually a plastic tube embedded under his skin, and they would uh, extract the blood from his arm so that uh, when they DNA tested it, um, it would be, it would be th this, like, other person's blood he had hidden inside his own body. And it kept him from getting arrested for rape for, like, more than a decade. Um, and they only when they were like a hundred percent sure it was him and were b baffled by the fucking blood shit. They ended up taking blood from like four different places on his body so that they, <laughs> they could figure out what the fuck was happening. There's even been cases I think where people were like, it, they have two different DNAs because they their body absorbed like a twin fetus at some point in the in the womb, and like one of their arms has like a different DNA or something than the rest of their body. It's really weird. Anyways, that's what she was talking about. So on the same day that What's Her Face uh, puts out a video about the weird blood tube, Q Queen Kefals decides to do a voiceover of stock footage. <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> this will save my internet career. I'm going to do a voiceover of Mushrooms chat. <laughs> Wait. They're called champagne mushrooms, right? No, I've spelled it wrong. I'm pretty sure they're mushrooms. I'm never. Ah. There's simply too many mushroom uh, stock videos, Chad. I'll never find them. It's your mushroom basket. No, nah, felt it again, chat. Felt it again. I will never find the specific basket of mushrooms that okay, Chaffles is using. <laughs> Champagne. You know what I care about the French? Nothing. Absolutely not a thing. Um, I wish Keffel's luck on his endeavors of murdering people. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.